So, one more thing to add uh, from the previous video is for the attacks, especially for if the canvas is longer than the 60 frame, the 60 pixels by 60 is a major. Well, we create a new guide, first of all. Uh, we send there, we create a new line for the sender. It doesn't really matter the height, it's just so that we know where to place this. Uh, this is for the walker. For the idle, I know that from my first frame, okay, the sender is here. It's two pixels from this gap. This guy. Okay, then for the walk, for example, I just try and center around his uh, head to not move a lot. This walk smoothly enough. Okay, the guide is the same as with this, but for bigger canvas, for example, this is. Uh, 120 by position and position. See, it's uh, 120 by 120. So, here's the thing I already know the first. This frame is 60 by 60. Okay, then same with this. Then I count the center line, which frame it is, which pixel it is. Frame. So that is on 31 pixels. So I should have on the left, I should have 30 pixels. That on the attack, that should be. 60 pixels on the left. Okay, that's 59. Yeah, I guess I can just move them on one by one. It doesn't matter because this is an attack and it doesn't start from this from the idle frame. So one uh, pixel wide won't make that big of a difference. But if it does for you, then you can simply just move them. You know what? I'm actually going to move. Move it frame by frame. I'm just going to move the entire thing. Okay. Okay. So that is will be correct. Yeah, because for there. Okay, so there's your attack. Ignore the the or the play of course. But here's your attack. And this will play fine inside Unity as well. Okay, so just to add up uh, how you can measure it on a new camera. So even if I go longer than 120 by 120. We can just calculate, uh, we can basically calculate the distance, so we always want to be at the center. Okay, that's it.